Hello, and welcome to Health ABCs. Today, we'll be talking about concussions. In this talk, we'll be discussing what a concussion is, what are the symptoms of a concussion, what will happen when you see the doctor, how to treat and prevent concussions, and where you can find more information about concussions. But first, this talk was created by medical students solely for the purpose of patient education. It's not to be used as medical advice and does not replace seeing your doctor. If you think you or someone you know may have a concussion, go see your doctor. So what is a concussion? A concussion is also called a mild traumatic brain injury, or TBI. I like to think of the brain as a sophisticated gel mold you are bringing to a party. To transport it, you must protect it from the outside by covering it with a bowl on top. If the bowl resting on top of the jello is hit hard enough, it can cause the jello to hit against the bowl, which damages the perfectly molded shape. This is similar to what happens to your brain after concussion, which is usually caused by a direct injury to the head that causes the brain to hit against the inside of the skull. This injury to the brain results in changes in mental status, which means that the person may feel or act differently than, than what they were like before the head injury. Concussions may also cause the person to lose consciousness, but not always. Concussions are very common in those who play contact sports, such as football or soccer, but may also happen after events where the head is struck, such as car accidents, falls, or in military combat. So what are the symptoms of a concussion? The symptoms may be seen immediately after the head injury or may be seen several minutes to even hours after the injury. Some of the more common symptoms are listed here. The most common symptoms seen are confusion or memory problems. Often this means the patient is unable to remember the events that took place right before or right after the head trauma. This symptom usually goes away with time as the brain starts to heal. One important thing to remember is that not every concussion causes loss of consciousness. Symptoms such as worsening headache, severe vomiting, changes in vision, speech, or balance, new weakness in any part of the body, new lethargy, or difficulty waking up the patient may indicate that there is a more severe brain injury, such as a brain contusion, aka bruising of the brain, or a brain bleed. If any of these symptoms are seen, call your doctor immediately. More severe injuries, like brain bleeds, can lead to permanent neurologic damage and may even cause death if they are not treated quickly. So what happens when you go see the doctor? When a patient comes to the emergency department after a head injury, there are some typical things that are done to see if the patient has a concussion or if they have a more severe injury. Expect your doctor to ask you questions such as, what happened leading up to the injury and what happened after the injury? Did you black out or lose consciousness? And what symptoms have you experienced since the injury? Your doctor will also ask you questions to help evaluate your memory and to assess if there are any problems with your speech or attention span. Your doctor will also perform a physical exam focusing on your brain and nerves and will test your balance and how you walk. Some doctors may want imaging of your brain, typically a CAT or a CT scan. This helps to see if there are any severe injuries to the brain. Depending on patient symptoms and findings on imaging, some patients may need to stay in the hospital to be observed. If the symptoms are not as severe and if there is someone who can take care of the patient, they may be sent home to be monitored. So how's a concussion treated? The only way to treat a concussion is with rest of both your body and your mind. Having a concussion increases the risk of further brain injury if there is another head injury soon after the concussion. To avoid this, patients should follow their doctor's advice to rest. After concussion, the patient should avoid physical activity and sports for at least 24 to 48 hours. To return to physical activity or sports, typically a return to play protocol is followed, which starts with the patient doing light aerobic exercise. If they can do these activities for 24 hours without concussion symptoms, they can move on to the next step, which is a sports-specific exercise, and so on. If the patient experiences worsening of concussion symptoms during these exercises, they must go back to the previous step. Similar to the return to play protocol, patients should also have a gradual return to learning. They should rest their mind for 24 to 48 hours, then slowly start activities that require concentration. When they are able to tolerate 30 to 45 minutes of this without worsening of symptoms, they are able to return to school or work. Accommodations may be needed at school or work after having a concussion, such as more frequent breaks, decreased screen time, and extra time for tests or deadlines. So how do you prevent a concussion? Simple measures such as wearing a helmet when playing sports or riding a bike and wearing your seatbelt when in a car, as well as avoiding situations where falls can occur, can help prevent the injuries to your head that cause concussions. To prevent worsening of concussions, it's important to rest for one to two days and then slowly return to normal activities based off the protocols described in the last slide. 
If you get hit in the head when playing a sport and don't feel right, it's important to speak up about it. Here are some more trusted resources where you can go to learn more information about concussions. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on our channel.